Good afternoon, super cool party people, and today is the last day of 2020. I mean, I know, like, in yesterday's vlog, I ended with in see you to... Wow, that was not English. I ended it with see you in 2020, which is technically true, because this is going up in 2020, but today is my last full day in 20... Today is my last full day in 2019. I am doing well here. It is currently 1 o'clock. I think I've been up since 11 something. I woke up at like 9 something and then I was like, yeah, I'm going back to sleep. We're getting the last sleep in of the decade and we're doing it right. So I'm just chilling. I've been like on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter. That's That's been my morning. I do want to be slightly more productive today because one, I want to revisit my goals from 2019 and see how well I did because that's what I like to do and two I need to set up my 2020 goals and and by set up I mean they're mostly set up I just need to finalize them and get them up on my goal wall back there there's nothing up there right now except for my calendar my like editing calendar which has nothing on it you can see that we gave up anyway like I said it's one o'clock so I should probably eat some food so I'm gonna go do that and then hopefully as the day goes on I'll be less like I feel gross I feel like I sweated a lot while sleeping I think it's a miserable day outside today too I can like hear the wind so yeah I don't know if I'm gonna leave the house today and that's okay 2020 will go in strong and we will leave the house maybe on a daily basis what all right I'm gonna go because this feels overly long but that's where we're at and that's where we're going <laughs> I am still in my pajamas. I mean, technically I changed into different pajamas, but I am making moves. It's 3.20. I've managed to feed myself and that's almost the extent of it. But I have made this giant mess with Jiffy markers and I am working on 2020 goals. They're, they're here. I'll share them later. Uh, this year I've decided to go a lot more colorful like last year. It was silver and that's boring. Also, I'm watching Sister Act 2 because come on. Um, but yeah. 2020 goals coming along. I may be halfway through my notebook here and then they will go probably there or maybe here. Not 100% sure, but they are going on that wall. And then obviously the next step is to actually do them. <laughs> uh, but this year I'm like, I did not need to slap my leg that hard. This year I am definitely trying to make them more uh, quantifiable, I guess. Like, easier to track, easier to achieve, broken down more, more specific. I just bit the inside of my face. It's fine. So that's what I am up to. I, <laughs> oh, English. <laughs> I wasn't going to leave the house today. I think I mentioned it earlier, but there's something I want to pick up at Staples, maybe two things, not 100% sure. So I'm going to go down town with my mom's boyfriend when he goes to meet up with my mom so they can buy stuff for dinner tonight we're doing like steak and roast potatoes and stuff new year's bring it in um <laughs> but yeah my day is gonna be pretty i mean I, I say pretty boring but i still have quite a bit to do on this list and i have to invoice at some point because i said i would invoice before the night is over so i'll probably do that during the cooking of dinner because those roast potatoes while delicious take like an hour to an hour and a half to cook but that's fine anyway i'm rambling now i'm gonna go i need to put on some clothes here soon because we're gonna leave in like math minutes 25 minutes so soon i should be not wearing pajamas <laughs> okay so it is now i was gonna say nine o'clock but it's 7 30 i don't know why i thought it was nine o'clock and i've made some pretty good progress on things my room is not one of them <laughs> but I we've had dinner and I have finished writing out all my goals there is it's so it's so thick it's mostly because like I have 2020 and then I have like a writing category and blah 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 and then goals underneath them I tried to break it down as much as possible like I was me me mentioning earlier it's not a word like I was mentioning earlier just to make it as attainable as possible so Next step is going up there. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, while I was out, I also picked up some squares of cork, like corkboard squares. Cute. Not cubes. Not cubes. Squares. Because I want to make a vision board here soon. Oh, wow. Suddenly I'm very tired. I have a bunch of, like, vision board things in the back of my agenda, but I want to put it somewhere where I'm going to see it more regularly because right now I only see it if I think to open up my agenda and look to the back. So that is part of the plan for today. And um, what else? What else? My mom and I had to go to the grocery store to get something because they didn't have it at Superstore. And um, then we found this guy. Oh my god, he is so cute. I can't even describe to you how squishy he is. He's like... When I was first holding him in the store, I was like, I want to cry. He's so squishy and comfy. So, this is my new friend. He is ridiculously large. He is a squid. It says her. It says it's a she, and her uh, name is Sally. But I don't like that. So we're gonna cheat. we're gonna name him something else. But he's very squishy, and he makes me very happy. So we're gonna chill together this year. Gonna help me achieve my goals. Um, but right now. I think my goal is to find my masking tape so I can put all those goals up on the board. I should probably also, I can't even, like, honestly, guys, this is so comfy. Um, masking tape, yeah, that's what I need to do. And then I want to set up my writing goal board back there for January so we'll actually have some thing to do. And I need to clean my desk because this is real bad and over there because that's also real bad. So... Yeah, that's where, that's where we're at. I have not updated for a while, but today's just kind of been a, a busy day. I also did a bunch of invo invoicing. Wow, English, not my strong suit today. It fun. <laughs> Alrighty, this is kind of bad lighting, but we're gonna live with it. I swear it's taken me most of the day to get my 2020 goals written out and up on the board. That took forever. They're up here. It's amazing. They're there. I can see them now. It's a little... Actually, you know what? I was gonna say it's a little bit stressful and overwhelming because there's so many, but it's not because it's very well laid out. But before we look at 2020 goals, we need to revisit 2019 goals. I had to open that off camera because it was definitely very tightly stuck. There's other stuff in here too, which includes like notes for my writing. So I'm just going to leave them in there. I should put them back up on the wall behind my desk now that I have space behind my desk. <laughs> it's a little bit of a mess right now because I still have a Christmas garland there, but it's fine. Normally I watch the vlog from the year before, but I'm just going to go off cards right now because I am lazy and um, I'm also watching Sister Act now. I finished watching Sister Act too. That took forever. <laughs> like, I saw seven hours between me just not doing anything and such. Anyway, 2019, let's do this. So, one of the things that I had for last year that I have not yet come up with this year is I had goal words, I guess you could call them, and they were reset, refresh, and refocus. And um, I think I did a really good job of that in the first half of the year, and then June hit, and everything just kind of. <laughs> we tried we tried. The next one is book one of my series. It's called Emanate. I'm pretty sure I've announced that before. <laughs> These were very ambitious goals. Why past me? Get an agent. Didn't happen. Get a book deal. Didn't happen. Query 12 plus literary agents. I don't think I did. I might have. I don't think I did. And finish query letter. You know, what? I'm gonna check the agent thing right now. You know what? I lied. I'm not gonna check it because I don't know where my uh, cue cards are. I don't think I hit 12 though. Maybe 10 if I was lucky. Yeah. So, you know, maybe let's like do like a back and forth. So, let's come a, come a little closer, my friend. You know what? Would have been smarter to just zoom. Let's move you a bit. This is really close. <laughs> so, I also have, so there's 2020 it says up here it's a lot more colorful. I kind of showed it earlier. I redid it because I hate it the way that one looked. So I have my writing goals right here. So this time 
Query Emanate, which is that first book. I want to query one query a week. That is my goal because it's very stressful and it hurts and you have to like do a new query letter for like every single person you send it to. So I think if I do it once a week or maybe I'll do it every other week, we'll see. I think that'll be more reasonable. <laughs> Revise my query letter. Basically like I have the bare bone structures of it and I've got like 12 of them. Probably not 12 of them because I don't think I queried 12 people but you know I've got a lot close to it. So I think I'm just going to revise it and um, go from there and also to that end find new comps. So basically it makes sense when you're querying to be like this book is comparable to that. And I've really struggled with finding comps for this book. Yeah. Next we got more we got more goals in writing. Finish Emerge which is the second book in that series that I'm working on. I have to still add those five chapters that I've been ignoring and avoiding. <laughs> finish edits. So once I add those chapters, and I think there's five of them, I'll finish the edits. Hopefully it's only one more edit before I can send it off, but maybe. I'm, I know that it might be two. <laughs> send to readers, so that is the next step, and then revise as necessary based on anything they tell me or whatnot. This lighting is so bad. I'm so sorry. I don't care enough to move it though. <laughs> and then we need props. And then the final goal under writing is to start my next project which is called Infectious and um, I had, wait for it, it was the thing I was wearing earlier, the blanket I was wearing earlier, I had a blanket made with, <laughs> you're never gonna, pack it up bud. <laughs> I had a blanket made with the cover art my friend did for me forever ago. <laughs> Ta-da! I don't know how well you can see that, but I figured I would get this and then I would see it all the time and I would sleep under it and I'd be motivated. It's also my backdrop on my phone. It, these, this part shows up a little more clear than on the blanket, but that's fine. All right, come on back, my friend. <laughs> this is so close. So plan the trilogy, number one. Print my planning guides. I've showed them a million times before from my other series. I just love having them to reference. Write the first book. That's like very not quantitative. It's just like, yeah, just write a book. It's fine. <laughs> and then uh, first full edit of book one. So this book could be a single standalone or it could be a trilogy. I haven't decided, but I'm planning a trilogy, but it could just be one if need be. Don't hit the wall. Next, we got to YouTube. I remember my goals for last year were like very numbers based or half numbers based and they very much aren't this year. I don't even care. I'm just having a good time now. I also uh, gave myself stickers when I accomplished things. I think I only got like two stickers. Anyways, first one was revamp brand which I did, like I did a new channel banner and a new intro and stuff. This year it's different. Did I put it on there? Yeah, I did. Um, I need to do a new channel banner at some point because it's in, it's not factual anymore because it says Tuesday to Saturday, but I vlog every day again, so it's fine. 500 subscribers by year end. <laughs> Pipe dream. So I have like, I have 160. I lost like six, four or six subscribers and I was like, well that sucks. And then I gained like four or six subscribers. So we're back up to 160, but honestly, I don't even care. I just really am enjoying it right now. And like I mentioned, looking back at old footage, it's just great to have. Uh, vlog in public with confidence. Getting better at that. We're not there, but we're getting better. Focused content. So like having a structure. I don't know if I really like that. Like, you know, on Tuesday the 3rd, I'm going to talk about this. Eh, we'll see. Um, and monetize, which is like a Patreon or something. But you know what? I just don't even care. <laughs> I have better uses for my time. Also, link down below if you want to buy me a coffee. <laughs> I need to get back out to coffee shops and write more because I think it helps me be productive when I switch things up. But we'll look at YouTube now. I started a second channel this year. Um, it's Oh Random Me. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> There's only one video on it. Don't worry about checking it out. But for this channel, I want to vlog for memories. So just like vlog fun things, etc. But also don't let the vlogging take over everything because, you know, have fun still. <laughs> New intro each month. <laughs> I'm sure I'll regret this by about June. It's fine. <laughs> 
I've got a new one that you will have seen today because it's the first day of the new vlogs, which is very exciting. Will you have seen it today? Math. I'm really excited to use it. I might throw it on here, even though technically it should start tomorrow. It's fine. Um, and then I've got all the footage picked, or I've got the videos and the clips and thoughts picked out for February because it takes like two and a half hours to make. This is why I will regret it in a few months. And then consistent thumbnails and tags. I get really bad when I'm lazy and I'll just be like, here's a picture. Don't worry about tags. I want to do that more just because I feel like that's step two or whatever and adding an end screen template, which I half the time forget to do. It's fine. On my second channel, that is three, second channel, I want to put at least one video a month. I have a list of topics that I should follow because it'll be easy, like, you know, do it. <laughs> and then I ha I want to do a 30 minutes in 30 days series. I don't, like, I don't know if I'll actually do this. It's, it's a thing that I'm going to do this year is... I'm going to do 30 minutes of something for 30 days in a row. <laughs> January's is 30 minutes of walking for 30 days. And I'm already regretting it because it is pouring rain. I always decide in January that I'm going to get fit and I'm going to go walking. I'm like, oh, there's snow. Oh, it's pouring rain. We're doing this. We commit it. <laughs> and that's all from YouTube uh, for now. Next, we had a blog, which if you didn't know, my blog is almost a daily blog. It's really been falling by the wayside lately. Eh. Um... <laughs> but it's called an invincible summer wordpress.com link down below. <laughs> so top thing was monetized vlog. There's like a theme. I'm just trying to make some cash here. I think I'm fine now. Nothing on here really is monetizing anything this year. And I think I feel better about that. Daily posts or potentially less than daily posts. Very, very good goal, but I pretty much post it daily until I went to Blind Channel and then it just kind of falls apart because it's really hard to vlog when there's like no internet. Uh, increased traffic, which I did. That's one of the few things I got to start for. Daily vlogging and increasing traffic. Keep a list of topics for when you don't know what to talk about. Didn't go so well. <laughs> more visuals, so like adding pictures to vlogs. That's exciting. Make them more interesting. And a unique URL, URL <laughs> which um, I think is mostly just like creating my own website. We'll get there at some point, maybe. So, blog, an invincible summer. <laughs> Resume daily blogging because, like I said, hasn't been going so well lately. Running list of topics, same goal from last year, didn't go so well last year. Increase traffic, I increased traffic a lot last year, I want to keep increasing it this year. And more visuals, so again, more pictures, make it exciting. Photography. This isn't really one this year. But photography was just get out and take more pictures, edit photos, and practice your Photoshop, which I've kind of been doing because I've been like putting more effort into um, derp -a derp -a derp 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 thumbnails. <laughs> Add pictures to blog more regularly. See, I like cross post to that, and then up your Instagram game. I like in the last two weeks I've started to. So hey, we'll call that a win. We'll put we'll go to the social media category for that one, the compare and contrast. Instagram, post to feed more regularly, because I would find that I just have like <laughs> months where I wouldn't post anything. Post stories more consistently. I'm usually pretty good at that. I just have to remember to do it. Take more pictures overall. So not just for Instagram or whatever, but just take more pictures. Like this camera, this is a good camera. I constantly forget that it is a camera and not just a video tool. Good job me. And then follow more creative accounts. So like, I really do want to get into being more creative this year and not just like writing and videos, like other things, which we'll get to, it's on the list elsewhere. Um, so I want to follow more accounts that will help with that, I suppose. And then other social media, Twitter, just post more regularly, like, I love Twitter. I'm hilarious on Twitter, I think I am, link down below. God, I hate myself so much. Um, <laughs> so I just want to post more. I want to follow more writers, so you know, same vein kind of thing, so I can see what they're up to. And um, I want to cross-promote, like, my blog on my Twitter. I was really good at it at the beginning of the year and then I just kind of pew, pew, as things tend to do. The next one is finances, which is kind of like taboo. Like I didn't even have it uncovered because I didn't want any people to see what it was, but I'm going to skip the top one, but I did accomplish it. Um, let's see. So I've actively saved money, make a budget, new job, question mark. Uh, if you know, if you followed for a while, I work at the theater and a lot of the times I just will work one, four hours a week, but it's been getting busier and busier and busier. 
and that coupled with the invoicing that I do now, plus I dog sit and occasionally and stuff, I'm not too concerned about getting a new job. I'm doing pretty all right financially. Could be doing better, but <laughs> so we do have money on here. So set a budget. This is one thing that I should do is actually set a budget. So this is how much you're going to spend in a week or whatever, just so I like, because I bought myself a blanket. I made a blanket. It was expensive. It's fine. <laughs> I like the idea of no spend days, which should just be days where I don't leave the house if we're being honest, but I want to have like two no spend days a week within reason. You know, sometimes things come up. I've got two monetary goals that I want to save between January and April. I want to save X amount. And then between April and September, I want to save X amount. Um, I think it's pretty reasonable. We'll see. Hey, look, travel's the next one. That's part of the reason I want to save money. <laughs> So, my goals last year, they're pretty similar this year. I have like one specific goal, which hopefully I'll achieve, and then just some general goals. So, 30 days of travel. Travel, business, or first class. It says flight here, but you know what? If it was like a train, that'd be cool too. Travel by train, that's the next thing. <laughs> and then visit five new locations. I don't think I got to five. Let's see, I went to Ocala. I went to Daytona. If we count plane layovers, I think I was in Houston. <laughs> Got three. We're counting it. <laughs> but that's that's what my travel goals were last year. This year, like I said, they're a little bit more specific, but also just as broad. So we'll start with the general ones first. Travel by train. Same as last year. Visit five new places. Same as last year. 30 days of travel. Same as last year, which is actually a lot if you think about it. Like, it's like a month of travel. Business slash first class travel. See, I made it travel this time instead of just flights. Eh? Mm, thinking. And then my more specific one is Australia. I can't do an accent, <laughs> but I've been, I wanted to go to Australia probably since I was 12. I am significantly older than that now, so I think this might be the year of it, or maybe early next year. I'm not sure. Plan is to book tickets by April. We'll see if it happens, and then <laughs> to go between like October 2020 and February 2021, you know, right in the heat, and I have a friend there. I can go visit and I have family there that I can go visit so it's cool next is health this one I feel like I made stupid goals last year mental stability not a stupid goal I was doing great until June <laughs> weight loss I was doing great until June <laughs> freaking June be active go outside I didn't do much of that and yoga and daily stretching I didn't do any of that this year also have health. I have mental health and physical health. Mental health, mental stability, <laughs> self-care, meditation slash quiet time. Just like unplug, chill, relax. Like probably like maybe like 10 minutes a day or something. And routine. I, you know me, I love a good routine. So I want to have like a daily routine that I can follow or a weekly routine or, you know, something like that. I haven't quite figured out what I want to be, but something like that. And physical health. Drink water, dum dum. Water, this stuff. I think I need to like set a daily goal. Like I have to have like four of these or five. I don't know. I think they're 750 mil each, so just under a liter. I need to drink more water and less of that. <laughs> then yoga slash daily stretching. It's on there again. Zen it out, man. Be active and get outside. We're gonna start that in January with the 30 minutes and 30 days of walking. And um weightlifting. I like to be strong. I really like weightlifting. It's enjoyable. I just need to get my weights because I'm in storage locker, but bam. <laughs> Next up, manifesting. It's something I started doing last year, and again, it was going well at the beginning of the year. <laughs> and just, just, um, but that's part of the reason that I have this up on my wall, because I can see it every day, and I can look forward to it. I'm going to make vision boards. I picked up some cork today, I think I mentioned earlier, so I can make those vision boards. Boards. I feel like I said boards, but let's see what the goals were last year. Daily journal. So what I would do is every night I would sit down, I would put on like some Zen music. I would do my like nighttime skincare and all that routine. And then I would write, I think three things I was grateful for, three things I want to manifest or I don't remember what it was. I still have the journal. I will look into it. Be positive and find a silver lining. Again, with this gratitude journal, I'm just like, there's got to be something good every day. 10 minutes of unstimulated reflection daily. Kind of, that was pretty much all the same thing. Envision what you want and achieve it. 
very vague, which is the opposite of what you're supposed to do with manifesting. You're supposed to be so specific. And then follow your intuition. So I guess trust your gut. I think I was just trying to fill the page. <laughs> do I have manifesting this year? I don't. I have manifest. <laughs> Basically the same thing. So daily gratitude journal. 10 minutes of daily reflection. I thought it said dairy reflection. I'm just gonna think about yogurt for 10 minutes. <laughs> Envision the future you deserve and then set up a vision board by March. So that's giving myself a lot of time to take my sweet time to set that up. <laughs> and then I have two, like three new ones here that I didn't have last year. So one is read. I did not read a lot last year. The year before I read like something stupid like 20 books in two months because I was a blind channel and there's nothing else to do. But this year I didn't. I played video games. I don't know what I did. I just didn't really do any reading. So my goal is to read at least 12 books, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but I'm the type of person that I fall in to books and then I just am gone. I am gone. And so I want to make sure that I'm not like, oh, read 52 books, which I could probably do, but I would not get any writing done or anything. So <laughs> I want to reread a bunch of my favorites. <laughs> And also I have some series that I've read the first couple, but I haven't read the last of it. So I want to finish those series, start at the beginning, go through, and then read all my to be reads. Before I moved in 2017, I got rid of a ton of books. Ones that I had read before I knew I'd never read again, ones that I figured I would never read, but I still have a substantial group of to be reads. So we're going to take care of that this year. <laughs> Another one I have is create. I want to be more creative and not just writing, but in other things. I've been embroidering recently. I want to keep doing that. I just have embroider regularly, regularly, God, English. Um, I'll probably try to make it a little bit more specific as I go on. I want to try making candles because candles are cool. And if, you know, I get really into the embroidery, I feel like that, maybe I'll open an Etsy store. There's, there's the only money thing on this list. Just because, like, I like creating, so we'll see. <laughs> and then finally, I just have a random goal list because, like, it's, I want to socialize more because I know I spend a lot of time in my room doing nothing by myself, just writing. I mean, it's okay, but I shouldn't do it all the time. I already have plans for plans with two different, three, with a lot of people in January. Uh, elementary school friend reached out and was like, hey, let's hang out. I was like, okay, cool. And a, the guy, the cook that I worked with in Blind Channel, who's like the next door neighbor, he was like, hey, let's hang out. I was like, yeah, cool. And then my like, my trio from Blind Channel, we're all gonna try to get together at some point, I think. So 2020, we're gonna be social. New website is down there. It's not up with the blog, cause I don't know, like I'd probably blog on that site because as an author, you're kind of like supposed to have one. So I should probably have one, but those are my 2019 goals recapped and my 2020 goals gone over. That felt like it took a long time, but that is okay. Right now, I think I'm going to try to finish my list of things that I want to get done before 2020 rolls in in an hour and a half. <laughs> I, I look panicked. I'm not, I promise. Um, but I feel good that this is finally up here because it took forever. No, I want to set up my writing board, which is right beside it, but we're doing great. Got a new blanket, got a new lease on life. Oh, tomorrow I have to go walking in the rain. It's cool. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna go, but I'm not gonna go to bed yet. <laughs> I just need to stop this clip. Uh, but I do have to edit this vlog tonight, which is an interesting new thing. I'll probably put the old vlog intro on here. Probably, maybe just no intro. Maybe the old, old intro. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna go and I will check in with you later. Alrighty, so for being honest, I haven't done much since my like 20 minute blabbing about my goals. Wow, that took a while. But um, I did post a blog post recapping my goals on there. So if you wanna check that out, link down below. Oh, this is like the 40th time I've said that. Hey. While I'm saying things, subscribe. That's actually a goal for this year is I want to ask people to subscribe more because apparently it helps remind people to subscribe. So do that. Anyway, I basically came on because it's 11.58 and maybe I came on a little too soon because I don't know if I can talk for that long, but I can try to better show this blanket that I had made. I really need to make my bed actually and like put it on. Oh, there's a mess everywhere, a mess. I think it also needs like a good wash too, but what can you do? Like I said, the hands are blowing out a little bit uh, down here. You can like see it, but 
not super well. Again, maybe, maybe it just needs to be washed. I don't know. Anyways, hands. And then the title. And then I just love the top. The top turned out really well. I think if I were to ever print this again, I would just make sure to lighten up the bottom part. But then again, it may change once I wash it. I'm really happy with it still, regardless. And I'm also really happy with Squidgy. I named him Squidgy the Squid. <laughs> I'm so creative. <laughs> oh, it is 11.59, which means it is almost 2020. And once 2020 hits, I'm going to end the vlog <laughs> and then edit it and go to sleep. Happy New Year. Ba -da 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 -da. Alright, welcome to 2020, and with that, I'm going to end the last official vlog from the decade, the year, whatever, and I will see you tomorrow, same place, same time. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming along on all these adventures. Good night. <laughs>